We begin our newscast tonight with a look at the various reparation bills now under consideration in Sacramento. As state lawmakers work to move these bills through the legislative process, some members of the Assembly and Senate are hoping to advance a package of proposed reparations for descendants of enslaved black Americans. 17's Capital Correspondent Aton Wallace looks at which bills have made it through so far and which failed to advance. Well, it's been mixed results for reparations bills so far, but backers of the proposals tell me they believe they're off to a good start. A standing ovation in the state assembly after lawmakers voted 62 to nothing to advance a reparations bill calling on the state of California to publish a formal apology letter to descendants of enslaved black Americans. The most important thing is making sure we can, we can get it out there. South Los Angeles assembly member Reggie Jones Sawyer authored the legislation. While he acknowledges California was never formally a slave state, he says since its inception in 1850, the state has implemented policies negatively impacting black California to this day, noting California's first governor, Peter Burnett, was a slave owner from the South who openly called for creating a whites-only American West and helped put in place a law to send slaves back to the South if they fled. A letter um, not only talking about California's complicity in uh, chattel slavery, but making sure that California actually apologizes for what has happened. Not to make anyone feel guilty, but to be, serve as a healing document. <laughs> Other reparations bills advancing include one requiring grocery stores to provide advance notice before closing down in underserved communities and a proposal by Senator Stephen Bradford to formally create what would be called the California American Freedom Affairs Agency in charge of overseeing the reparations process in the state of California. Critically important for setting up the framework for reparations going forward. So I think we have a good foundation to work from. But several reparations-related bills did not make it, including Bradford's proposal to fund housing and property tax assistance for descendants of enslaved black Americans. I mean, disappointment. Reparations is about land. That's how we build generational wealth in this country, and African Americans have been denied ownership through redlining, restrictive covenants, and all kind of other restrictions. Not included in any of the reparations bills this year, direct cash payments. Democratic leaders overseeing the state budget process say they would have liked to advance more reparations bills, but they add it just would have been too costly as the state faces a projected multi-billion dollar deficit. It's just a challenging budget time, and so we needed to be responsible, responsible with taxpayers' money, um, so that's why we had to make some tough calls. And lawmakers whose reparations bills did not make it through this year tell me they will try again in future years. Reporting at the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.